yeah, we use the EN. Uh, first, of course, you do the Kellogg's yeah. method, which is hyper conservative, but yeah. we just start there. Yeah. And then we do the EN 59, uh, 5091 yeah. uh, check. Yeah. And of course, we check the stresses in the pipe. And then we run the tests, and we see that the pipe is the limiting factor here. It's not actually the flange joint. But of course, we don't have a st statistical ground yet to kind of say that that's applicable for all type of gaskets, for example. Yeah. So that's the next step we want. But now we just want to have a testing rig so we can repeat this experiment over and over again. Yeah. And we will use students to do those experiments because it's, I think it's very interesting for a student to see failure mechanisms at play. No, for sure. I, I can also imagine that you would um, change the piece of piping uh, maybe a thicker piece just to see you know where you get in the range where the flange actually starts failing and how it would start failing. exactly so we managed to get one case where we had uh, leakage before the pipe started to leak and that was uh, because we maxed out the bending moment the bending moment capacity was reached so we couldn't push that one further so what we did then was to pressurize it from 40 bar up to 60 bar and suddenly then you had uh, leakage through the flange. And, and what are you anticipating for the research? Like, um, are you in, uh, expecting that to be published into the um, you know, public at some point? Yeah, so we're gonna share all of this knowledge. Uh, so we're gonna be writing uh, articles about it, white papers, somebody who just want to discuss it, have questions, yeah, just find us. <laughs> we like to talk about this stuff, you know.